Well, hello and welcome to the channel. Um, today I am going over, where is he going? Today I am going over to another iconic British biking location. And that location is the Ace Cafe of London. So, if you want to find out what the Ace Cafe has to offer and a little bit about it and its history, stay tuned. But first, roll the credits. Okay, so welcome back. So I suppose um, the first thing I should do is just to apologise to all my regular viewers. Um, I know I haven't been getting the footage up to the channel, however it has been a perfect storm to prevent me from <laughs> doing much on the channel. Um, first of all, I got the fastball contract down here in London, uh, which meant that I got separated from all my kit. I've literally just got my GoPro with me and that is it. Nothing else whatsoever. So no um, fancy B-roll or any fancy angled shots of the bike on this trip, I'm afraid. So I do apologise for that. Secondly, um, obviously being a fish out of water, I don't know the area, so I was a little bit stumped for places to go to. And then, if that wasn't enough, we then had this uh, media-created fuel shortage. Absolutely crazy. So even when I did get the opportunity to get out and about, um, I just didn't dare burn the fuel in case I ran out and couldn't get enough fuel to get me to and from work each day. So I think everybody's been in the same boat with it, uh, but I do apologise. Guys, the good news is, <coughs> oh, excuse me, my voice is going. Um, the good news is that I've only got another four or five days to go, and then I will be heading back home up to Scotland, where hopefully I should get a good four or five weeks before I deploy overseas again. So, all in all, um, things are looking on the up. So, a little bit about the Ace Cafe, which is the location that we are going to. Um, originally built in 1938, uh, it was built as a service area on the North Circular Road around London. Um, our German cousins, the Luftwaffe, decided they didn't like it, so they bombed it in 1940, I do believe, where it was burnt down to the ground. Um, eventually, the building got rebuilt again in 1938. Uh, sorry, 1948. And it soon became a favourite haunt of motorcyclists all the way through the 1950s and the 1960s. Uh, back then, the main thing everybody aimed for on bikes was hitting the magical 100 mile an hour. And um, if you wanted to see a bike that was capable of doing 100 mile an hour, most probably the Ace Cafe was the best place to go during that time. Um, I believe there was a club running out of there called the, the Ton Up Club, uh, where all the guys who'd got the big bikes that were capable of doing 100 mile an hour would hang out. And so now, fast forwarding uh, to modern day times, um, the Ace Cafe is still a place where bikers meet out. Uh, if you go on their website, you can see all the different nights they have, where they have different theme nights. Um, obviously, it's still a cafe. I believe they sell clothing, how meets, all those kind of things. It's always somewhere I've wanted to go, so um, while I'm down here, I thought might as well take the opportunity I've just been waiting for a nice sunny day and uh, waiting for this petrol shortage to subside and here we are so stay tuned and we'll see what it's all about and here we are ladies and gentlemen the Ace Cafe London Just as I imagined it. Well, let's get parked up and let's see what there is to offer. OK, 
okay everybody so here we are the ace cafe so far everybody's been really friendly just talking to that chap there about his new honda cb500x which he's very happy about these guys must be professional dog walkers they've got about god knows how many dogs with them and as you can see this is the ace cafe <laughs> all the peaches and yeah it seems um, unless there's more around the back it seems a lot smaller than I imagined it would be but we'll uh, head on it and see what it's like proper old school cafe Really, really nice. Let's pull it down here. Little shop. All the mods and the rockers. And the old paper cuttings. I myself was a, a mad mod in my younger years and then moved on to motorbikes. All Lambrettic. Triumph. Absolutely cracking place. Well, time for something to eat. Back later. Well, as ever, here is the obligatory food shot. So I've got one sausage sandwich, a mug of tea, for £5.12. Not too bad for London prices. So, all in all, what can I say about the Ace Cafe London? Well, it's lived up to expectations. Um, a little smaller than I thought it was going to be. See, they have got an upstairs, so I'm not sure what's up there. Um, but yeah, it's just a good old-fashioned British cafe. Absolutely great atmosphere. Uh, the minute I pulled up on the car park, a uh, guy came over to me, talking to me about bikes and so on. So yeah, really friendly place, good service, good food. Uh, and I bet it's absolutely cracking at night when they've got the band playing and uh, music and everybody's having a good time with the beers flowing. So, highly recommended if you fancy a trip out, come and check out the Ace Cafe London. Now, time for my brew, time for my sandwich. Back to you. I have to say though, um, no disrespect to people who live in cities, but it really, really isn't for me. Um, you know, perhaps I'm going to answer my question here about motorcycles in the city. It, it, although it's a, a far better mode of transport to use in the city than a car, it's still no fun. You have to have eyes in the back of your head. Um, You've got the, the big thing that I notice with living out in the country, you know, you have really far distant views. You can see up to the hills, to the horizon. Whereas here, you know, two or three hundred metres is about the, the maximum uh, distance of vision that you've got. And it just feels very, very claustrophobic to me, having been used to living out in the country. But, you know, I suppose it's horses for courses. There are people who would who've lived in the city all their lives and move out to the country and most probably wouldn't like it, I, I don't know. Uh, but I am looking forward to going home, really, really looking forward to going home. A riding tip for you, you see that guy where he was positioned, right behind the van? Never ever get yourself in that position, you always need to be in the position I am in now where you can see the mirror and you've got a nice gap because if for any reason that van decided he was going to reverse number one you can't see it and number two when your front wheel is on his back bumper you have absolutely no reaction time so just a little tip from the top for safer riding 
Okay everybody, so I suppose um, I'll bring the video to an end. Just a short one again today. I do apologise as I've said for the lack of footage getting up on the channel. However, hopefully over the next coming months, normal service will resume. So if I could just ask one favour, you know the, the channel ratings have been taking a little bit of a beating because I haven't been able to get the, the footage up there. Please, please just smash that like button, it really does help the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, obviously subscribe for more upcoming content. Well, all that's left to say is thank you very much everybody for tuning in and keeping the faith. Everybody ride safe, bike rider reviews out.